Okay, we already, we, we already know you built more houses than us. You don't have to keep showing off. <laughs> What's going on everybody? It's me, Jason, with Buy, Build, Sell. And today we have some special guests here checking out one of my houses. He's got Sam and Ed. These guys are new developers on the block. And I don't know why I decided to let them see this house, but we'll find out what happens when they go through it and find out the difference between their quality of build versus mine. And maybe you guys can champion for me down below in the comments. Come on in and check it out. It's all right. <laughs> Much bigger entrance than ours. That door is huge. We talked about a year house. We talked about the major thing that I thought was great was the floor plan. I don't like to pick on design. I don't like to pick on anyone for the designs that they choose in a house because it's, it's arbitrary, it's subjective, yeah. I might like one thing, you might like another. So to pick on finishes doesn't make sense. Just because I like something and you don't doesn't mean it's not nice, right? But the aesthetics of things can help transform the architecture and make the architecture make a lot more sense. Finding out why you choose things to help expand upon the floor plan or the architecture of the home really makes the biggest difference. So a lot of the things that we chose here really tried to go do that. We tried to make sure that we were going to make the architecture and the design work together to create one unified piece, okay? And that's usually the goal. I'm not right. saying you guys didn't do that, but that's the goal, okay? So. Well, we didn't have as much, you know, building as many homes as you have. There's no excuses. You see more. And that's why we're here, <laughs> to steal from you. Yeah. These Take ideas all the ideas and, and all the knowledge. When you walk these houses, it's different when you're with the builder like we are today. And we see more after doing our first one, there's a lot more on paper that we look at and we can tell like this might be an issue at the end product. The finishes, the style, it's like completely different, but the flow, how you're gonna organize the home. One of the things that I appreciate, this is a very modern home, but it's not cold. A lot of people that do modern homes, it's very cold. This is homey. It's homey and we'll see all, all the wood accents. Whether you're a fan of walnut or white oak or whatever, they used different things to bring this to a more homey feel while still having the modern touch, which is what we were trying to accomplish. Too. Hard to do, right? Yes. Keep, it, keep it modern, but make but it also, feel warm, make it feel inviting, make it feel like it's a family place. A lot of times when I feel like I walk into a modern home, that's kind of what I feel like I'm walking into. I feel like I'm walking into this house that if I touch something, I'm gonna leave a fingerprint. You're gonna mess it up. So, so someone's gonna break something. <clears throat> like, I'll give you, for instance, these stairs. These are my favorite part of the house, by the way. Normally, when you walk into a modern home, you might see glass. It's a very common uh, staircase. Uh, for some reason, because of the way that we built these stairs, it's a warm feeling. Of, even though we have this glass, like we have the, the handrails built in, we have the stairs coming out. It's not lapped on top of the, the stairs. So this gives a lot more warmth to the staircase as opposed to just like some glass feature that's like shown throughout the house to make it feel open. It's more of a, an actual staircase than a glass piece, right? There, yeah. There, there's something here. It almost makes the handrail feel like it's floating, not that it's a glass staircase. So fine, so this is, this is your favorite piece in the house? I would say this is my favorite piece. I also, I told you I'm having my wedding in December. We're gonna be doing it at Zadoon in Cabo. And, and it's, they it's July 21st, there's a hotel as this, and if you can be there, uh, he'll pay for the drinks. They encompass that resort here, which is like, for me, it just felt very inviting because I've been to that, it's amazing. And that place is like wow. 2,000 bucks a night. And I'm sure the mortgage here is less than 2,000 bucks a night. <laughs> and you get, <laughs> you get much more for your bang for your buck. Okay, so cool. So you picked your favorite. What's your favorite? I like your floor plan a little bit better. It's, it's really similar to ours in the sense of like, you have all your like living room, dining room, kitchen, but ours is like the inverse, you know, it's kitchen, dining room, living room. But, you know, your floor plan, you don't open up like you were saying at our places. There's like a guest bedroom area right when you walk in. Like I said, you know, you want to be able to walk in and automatically feel like you're walking into a home. I think that you guys did a great job making that happen, but you, know, you also have to kind of mess with the floor plans and make that happen as best as you possibly can. There's Overall, th these both bring the same message. This is a bigger home and allows for more opportunity to adjust. How many square feet do you have here? <laughs> I, I guess when you're building 15 homes a year, you forget, but you're in the range of 3,500 to 4,500, I would uh, say. Yeah, I think it's a 4,500 square feet. You have about almost double our square footage. 
This island feature, if you guys see the way they did the uh, breakfast nook, this is unique. You, maybe you'll find this in a hotel or somewhere, something, but you have not found this in any other development in LA that I've seen. It's very unique and I've never seen this and I look at a lot of homes, everything I hit Zillow, Redfin, I'm, I'm looking at. This All is the unique. quality sites. Yes, and this isn't even on Pinterest and stuff, which usually a lot of people get ideas from. But so, so whoever came up with this on your team, whether it was you or somebody on your team, I think they did a great job. And I love the choice in stone. I will say this is like a really well-built home. It was really hard to find things that were maybe not 100%. There's some things. Okay. I noticed from this fireplace wall, right at the top, it's not straight right there. Oh, the oh, oh yeah, like the, the <laughs> Venetian plaster is uh, pulling out. It's going out. Uh-huh. Even the best guy. I will say we've been here for about an hour and a half walking around and me and Eddie trying to find... I found the one thing, just barely. But I think what we're learning is you want to pay attention to details because they're very, very important. But you have to remember the end buyer for all these investors and developers. A lot of the minute things that maybe you care a lot about, they won't even ever notice. But you don't want to use that as a cane or a handicap to go ahead and just let everything go. You want to make sure you put out a good quality because that quality is going to outlive you, essentially. And only with time will you really learn what those things are, what you need to be paying attention to, what you need to be cognizant of, and how, also, truthfully, even for me, just having so many people living in our homes, we've gotten so much feedback mm. about what works and what doesn't work. You almost don't need to reinvent the wheel at any point. It's really just having fun with the designs and just doing the right things over and over and again. And taking the experience from the previous ones and applying it to the, yep. to the next projects. Do you want to check out the guest house real quick in the pool outside? What is this, do you want uh, to do Neo that? ADUs or something like that? Let's go. <laughs> what up, Joseph? <laughs> This is a lot in pocket doors, slider doors. A lot These of Fleetwood doors yes. are yeah. a lot of money. So a lot went into this. Yeah. I'll show you my favorite feature about the ADU. You ready? All right. Yeah. You guys ready? Oh. oh. <laughs> that is cool. That is cool. That's it. That's my favorite feature. <laughs> and he put it in the ADU. I put it in the ADU. <laughs> Faucets inside do it as well? Or you don't? No. No. This is the only one that does it. Why did you decide to do that here? Just to add something? Just make it some, something unique, something special, something interesting. So right here you have your little kitchenette. Everything opens up for a pool house. Uh, there's a little closet here for washer and dryer. I also think that having a laundry unit here, if you're using it as a pool house, all the towels and stuff can just be thrown in there and you have to take them upstairs. You know what? I want to change my favorite thing in the house, actually. It's that side yard. Honestly, I've never thought of closing off one of your side yards and using it as a sitting area, patio area. I think that is a great idea. I mean, in this case, he kind of fessed up, kind of had to because of setback requirements. Okay. He didn't have a choice but to make that area larger. But in our thought process is make the house as wide as possible. But uh, that's, I really like that. Well, let's head upstairs and look at the master suite. Check it out. This is really grand too, like the opening here all the way We're up. not being videoed right now, okay? You don't have to say. No, I'm being fake, honest. Fake stuff. <laughs> <laughs> all right? Oh, uh, oh, the camera is on. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're right. Yes, it's really cool. Yeah. This way is the master. This is the master right here. Plenty of light. Plenty of light from these Fleetwood doors over here. Yep. And uh, plenty of room as well. But it's not like too big. Who gets a couch in their bedroom? No, no, I'm, I'm not. I'm saying right? it's like it's. it's well, we we have a pink couch, <laughs> but but not like nice. at your own house. No, no, at the house. Oh, you do? I don't it was remember. pink. I, I must have salmon maybe. I mean, I, I like this because it's not like too big and it gives you a lot more space for your bathroom and closet, which you probably use more than. Oh. In your bed. Also, I wasn't hundred percent sold on the design that we chose to do in this bathroom. But I am thrilled with how it came out. Probably, if I had to put this in the rankings, I think this would land at my top favorite thing about this house. So you had your stairs, you had your side yard. This is definitely my favorite room in the house. I think the window brings a massive presence to it. The fact that it's a, a singular floor, it still creates the draining for the showers. There's two showers independently. There's a tub in the center. And there's two separate vanities. This is probably my favorite room in the house. 
I will also point out something that I noticed is the recessed mirrors in the bathrooms. Tell, tell me, like, who hurts you so much that you want to keep bringing that up? The recess? Yeah. Eddie. Oh. He oh. Fights, fights with me about everything recess. Because it's so much extra work and so much more meticulous attention to detail. Like, I don't want to say that he's not wrong. Because he's not wrong. He doesn't want to say it, but he will say it. No, but, but at the same time, like, there's so many decisions you can make when building a house. I want to say this. And I'm gonna say it on the record here. I think that as long as you have a reason for your decision to do something when you're building a home, it doesn't even have to be a good reason. It doesn't have to be the right reason. It doesn't have to be the right decision. But when you make the decision and you have a good reason at the time for making the decision, when you go through and you see the house and you see everything you did and you go through that, that, that all the decisions you made to get to this point, you have to be able to live with yourself and say, I made this decision because, and that, that's your justification for always. Like, you know, you can make those decisions, but the main thing is, is justifying your decisions. So when you're going through this process, you gotta justify your decision and then stick with it and really go with it. Whether you should have or shouldn't have, those are two different things because you can't tell me one is right or wrong. You just can't. It's subjective. It's completely subjective. One person's trash is another person's treasure. So learn something from that. I don't think we were prepared for how many decisions. No, I think one of our takeaways is make as many decisions in the beginning as you can. So you're only making decisions on changes, not decisions on what you're gonna actually do. And I think that'll save a lot of headache. I, you posted one time uh, on your Instagram story, plug that right here, make sure you guys follow them. Golden nuggets every day. <laughs> you posted a complete like skim through on your phone of a design for a house. And I was like, I sent it, I recorded it, I sent it, I was like, this guy has like 90 pages for a house. Like we have three. <laughs> That's <laughs> and funny. He's calling out everything and I think that makes the process easier. You do a lot more work on the front end, but it makes it go a lot more smoother. Yes. If you can, if you can uh, reduce your decisions during the process, you're gonna be a lot happier. I always tell people, I said like, when I go through the design process with clients, I always tell them, look, we're gonna work our butts off. We're gonna get every single detail that we want to talk about, that we want to execute on, that we want to deal with, everything's going to be in a design package on for paper. you. On paper. And I guarantee you, this will only end up being 90% of what we need to do. There's always going to be a change. There's always going to be a, an adjustment. There's always going to be something that comes up that's going to derail all that hard work. The difference is, is we have constant, like we can constantly just go back to that look and go, okay, we know what decisions we made. How do we get as close to that as possible? Yeah. And we have this like floating vanity and the, the glass was supposed to be in it. Or maybe originally the design was the glass all the way up and two doors and the vanities were in different places. Whatever it could be, okay, fine. We, we had this vision in the first place, but now that we're in the space, you know what? Let's put a, a toilet here. Let's build out a closet there. Let's Whatever it is, all these decisions, they change. And that's okay that they change. That's what that contingency space is for. Having uh, you know, what I call the Bible, having a book that leads you in the right direction, just gives you a straight path forward where you can keep on going back to it and get as close to that as possible. I'm really happy with this tour. I think we learned a lot. I don't know which channel this is gonna end up on, but if we're on JGP's channel, make sure you guys subscribe down below. Yes. Leave comments for us. If this is on our channel. We'll include all links, subscribe. Thank you guys for coming through this tour. You'll see the other side of this video on the other channel. So everything's linked down below. Comment, questions, subscribe, Instagrams, all links included. Thank you guys very much. Sam is saying it fast. Uh, all of that was well said. I will say that, you know, from my, my channel and what I'm doing, you're seeing a different side of the world. I'm coming from different perspectives and these guys are creating a channel where you can literally see how someone who has no idea what they're doing yeah. is going into this and jumping into this business. That's an experience uh, that, you can, that you can go along with them on. And then my channel hopefully can help you in that process so just like i hope my videos help you during your process Definitely um helps. you know i think that people will get a lot just following you guys and getting the motivation to get away from the screen and go do something it's a lot more than you expect and we expected a lot of work but it's crazy me and eddie did one house about half the size of this you do 15 houses a year you have your team and stuff but you'll get there i promise and if we don't <laughs> then go back to whatever you're doing. <laughs>
Thank you guys. We'll see you guys next week on uh, another video. See you.